34 year old Joe Ingles giving them an eight point lead. Good pass. And Billy, perfect pass. Good pass by GT. So Garrett Temple. And Garrett Temple shooting well lately. He's, his three point uh, picked him up. And he's had a couple of other stops. And don't forget, he also played over it. What a Turkish league time for the game here. There you go. Good read by Kyra. He caught Mike Conley. He caught Mike Conley. Garrett Temple trying to get the cup. The runner's going to be short. And Billy will drag it down. Herb lost it. Angles walked away from it. He yeah, walked away hit. from it. Right. In the face. Right. Held by Angles. <laughs> right. Extra pass. Kyra popping. Popping a triple. Yes! You said it, Joe. This bench has came in and played very well. They're solid. And I'm putting in that time of extra time and dedication, guys. Thank you, Jen. And it paid off. We saw the kill with that triple to the first quarter. Good pass inside. Oh, Billy's there. Rudy Gay got him from behind. They let it go. Bench has been... Exceptional. I am a firm believer that confidence comes from preparation. Oh, I don't know about that one. Nikhil has prepared himself to come in here and play well today. Using Rudy Gobert and his ability to set screens. They have to switch. And we're going to call a foul on Bennett on the spin. And they're going to call that most of the time when you kind of hook a guy and then you put the elbow out. If we show this offensive foul, look at Rudy Gobert. He's guarding, he's guarding Brandon Ingram. Do you see where he's at? Look who, there's nobody guarding Brandon Ingram. So Rudy Gobert is always going to drift toward the basketball. So when you get that ball on the ball. So the Pels, 12 of 28 for the field, a little bit below 50%. Good dive, good timing, and the quick release. Nice. Billy, great pass by Josh, too. And that's back to 30, huge disparity in shooting. The Pels are 18 of 45. Final shot, Billy. Got it off, gets it! Count it! They'll review it, so, and Billy sends the Pels to the locker room with the lead. So, so yesterday at Little, <laughs> I'm laughing with Billy and told him, you're leading the NBA in three-point percentage because you're one for one, right? And now if this counts, now he's officially two for two. Does it count? Yeah, yes, look it good. Does. That is good. I've got a 14 to two run to go to the locker room. Oh, that's, a, that's an excellent way to end in the half. Excellent defensively. Billy heard the Gomez for three at the buzzer. Get the bell to Good job at the kill by getting to that corner where right. B.I. can find it. Relocating and getting to a sight line. Rudy Gay pops up with a triple. Gobert is there. And Billy may have gotten away with it. A little nudge when Gobert tried to tip it home. Kyra sharing it. Garrett Temple for a three. Catch and shoot. One point game. Minute 10 to play. That's the way to move to out there, Billy, on the dribble out little handoff. Good setup, Garrett Temple, a little strong, and it'll be a foul on Rudy Gay. So he might have had the position, but he was a little overly aggressive. Yeah, we heard earlier, AD, you and I saw it happen, the in injury to John Moran, right. and our thoughts and prayers with him. Yeah, I would, you know, you, you never, injuries to me are the worst part of the game. Without a doubt. And you, you hope that, you hope that he's okay. Sadoransky setting it up. Man, Billy over Gobert, gets the roll. That's how good it's going for the Pels right now. 75-74. How about the bench? Like it's 36 year. He's been so <laughs> efficient for so long. Brandon, mid-range. Quick. Yes. Pretty Decisive. good basketball, though. That's Decisive. Pretty good. Yeah, and it's good basketball by Billy Hernan Gomez, making himself a big Joe's 34 years of age. These guys have played at a high level a long time. Brandon, Billy's good hands, but he's blocked by Gobert, stays with it, and he wanted to foul. He looks over to the official. Move on, they say. Three-point game. It'll be Jordan Clarkson, and Gobert after it. But the loose stuff goes to Sadoransky. On the run, Billy. Wait, good in. pass. Josh Hart on the finish. Hey, Billy is just such an intelligent basketball player. He doesn't try and do too much. He understands what he does well, and he puts his teammates in a position to excel. That, that's two really good plays by Billy to start this fourth quarter. Rudy Gay. Leave him alone. He'll burn you. Four-point game. Now Donovan Mitchell loses it on the 50-50, went right back to Mitchell. Could have been a turnover instead, wide open. And good job, Hernan Gomez kept it away from Whiteside. Josh Hart, where's it going? He wanted Brandon, great save. Billy! Just how you Tied at 82! Just how you drew it up. That's a four. 
Billy thought about it. Big heel now. Take the mid-range. He will. That worked. That shot. That shot right there is a shot you want to see McKeel shoot more often because it's available. We said this in the first quarter. When you come up those pick and rolls, Hassan Whiteside and Rudy Gobert, they aren't coming out the hole. If they aren't going to come out the hole, one, two, pull up, that shot is there. Let's take a look at our energy power plays. And it's Billy Hernan Gomez. Since he's been put back into the rotation, he has been fantastic. But he's been a star in his role. He has done what's ever been asked of him to do on both ends of the floor. So being solid, being strong, making shots, being efficient, and making his teammates better in the process. And you know what it also means? You've got a fresh Jonas Valanciunas that's right. and when he comes back. That's here. right. And that's probably the best part about it is now you get an opportunity. And you said it earlier. You said you got a fresh Devontae Graham coming right. back. You know why Devontae Graham is fresh? Because Kyrie Lewis did his job. Right. You know why Jonas will be fresh when he checks back in the game? Because Billy, Billy Hernan Gomez has done his job. Six. Out for a pick and roll situation. Here goes Mitchell. Up against her. And did he walk? Jonas has it. And loose stuff. Now you got to go. Dot. It'll be Devontae for a win. Yes! Yes! A second left. 1.3 put on the clock. And a timeout. Now, we talked about understanding your guys, right? Oh. How many times have we talked about Devontae Graham's ability to run, get his feet set, and then raise up? They stopped that clock in a hurry. <laughs> 1.3 to play. Officially, they'll advance it with the timeout. Devontae did this in Charlotte. Off the bench That's what for he them. Does. He's got a bounce to his game. He likes that moment. That's right. Go back again 48 hours ago against the Washington Wizards in that same exact spot. Devontae Graham knocked out back to back threes just like this. In transition, excellent recognition by Brandon Ingram and trust to know that this is what Devontae Graham does on time, on target. And that was a walk to begin with. The Jonas. They actually could have called a foul right, right there as well. From behind on Mitchell. And Devontae getting rid of it, running to fill the lane. B.I. hitting him right back. On time, on target. Rudy Gobert. If they throw that ball to Rudy Gobert and he hits a foul line jump shot, so be it. It comes in. It will come in. It's Mitchell for the win. And they're going to call a foul. moving foul. A moving it's pick on Gobert. That should do it. So they bring it in. It goes the other way. What are they going to put on the clock? And Quinn Snyder is going to challenge it. But see, even if they challenge it, it... What's on the clock? Right, exactly. So, Two tenths of a second. And this is a very, very smart challenge by Quinn Snyder right. because you can't take... The ca challenges don't carry over. Plus, if that really is Two tenths of a second... A very, very difficult shot. You see him catch this basketball right here. Put the leg out. You see that? You see him catch his ball. And look, he has to go over the other shoulder. That's a much tougher shot for a right-handed player. Right. He could have been called twice on fouls. Heaven forbid that. Come on now. You saw the first one. He put the leg out. Yep. And then he's moving on Garrett Temple. And it wasn't the official right next to him that made the call. And that is a foul. He's leaning. To, he's been doing this all night, though. He's a very, very good Sandy Moss, Royce O'Neal. Yep. Looking for him. Got to get Blow it, it in. Just like and, that. There you go. And there you go. Got it off in time. Look out. That'll do it. The Pels come from behind and stun the Utah Jazz. So do you remember the graphic that was up earlier about wins and losses? How much you're giving up in wins and how much you're giving up in losses? It was 95 points in wins. You gave up 97 points to a Utah Jazz team at home.